lineups. We're set for the starting lineups of tonight's basketball game and to introduce the players, the PA announcer here in Stillwater, Larry Reese, for the starting lineups for Mizzou and OSU. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to Gallagher Iva Arena for tonight's Big 8 clash between the Missouri Tigers and your Oklahoma State University Cowboys. Now for tonight's starting lineups, first for the visitors from Missouri. At forward, a 6'9 junior from Kansas City, Missouri, number zero, Javon Crudup. At forward, a 6'8 senior from Litchfield, Michigan, number 45, Jeff Warren. At the center position, a 6'10 junior from Kansas City, Missouri, number 41, Chris Heller. At guard, a 6'1 junior from Moss Point, Mississippi, number 15, Melvin Booker. And at guard, a 6'4 junior from Charleston, Missouri, number 22, Lamont Frazier. And now, the starting lineup for your Oklahoma State University Cowboys. At forward, a 6'6 junior from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number 24, Fred Burley. At forward, a 6'4 senior from Little Rock, Arkansas, number 30, Milton Brown. At the center position, a 7-foot sophomore from Gans, Oklahoma, they call him Big Country. Number 50, Bryant Reeves. At guard, a 6'3 sophomore from Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Number 15, Randy Rutherford. And at guard, a 6'4 junior from Little Rock, Arkansas. Number 22, Brooks Thompson. And Eddie Sutton, just two wins shy of 500 in his coaching career. Tries to keep it going for the Cowboys. They are six and four in the league. Missouri, four and six. We're back with a tip off in a moment. Gallagher Arena, the site here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Welcome back, everyone. Bill Land and Dean Blevins with you as. We take a look at the series. Missouri, a big lead, 61-29. Last meeting a month ago in Missouri, a winner by 16 in that contest. Brian Reeves, as you pointed out, Dean, got in foul trouble, fouled out of the ball game. He has been so consistent for the Cowboys. They expect those 19 points and 10 boards a night, and they usually get them. Well, he has become the favorite to win the Big 8 Conference Player of the Year. His Development has been nothing short of remarkable from the day he stepped on this court as a true freshman. And as usual, all the seats are sold here at Cozy Gallagher Iva, around 6,700. Burley against Heller in the center circle. Heller for the Tigers gets the tip, and it comes off to Melvin Booker, their leading scorer at 16 points a game. Warren outside to Frazier. Looking down low to Heller. Let's see if they try to work on Reeves again, as Heller was productive against him in Columbia. Out of bounds. Warden couldn't find the handle in the turnover for Missouri. They average 14 of those a game and they force 16. That turnover bugaboo was part of the Cowboys problems when they lost back-to-back -back games against Kansas State and Iowa State. But with the development of Thompson at the point, ball handling's become a plus for this team. Cowboys averaged 23 turnovers a game before the Missouri game. 16 cents. Mizzou thought they had one there. Crudup knocks it out of play. There, there's the big man who has developed quicker than anyone imagined here at Oklahoma State. Seven-foot sophomore, 285-pounder. They got him on the weights, and he is much stronger. He's much more mobile than I think anyone ever thought he would be. Rutherford, an excellent shooter, and got 49%. Rutherford, averaging 13 a game, gives the Pokes the lead to zip. Booker down to Cruda. Burley, a challenge containing him. Warren. One minute in, 2 nothing OSU. Warren looks to Crudup, got it, double team. Thompson helping out. Warren to the baseline with 18 on the shot clock. Cowboys will stay after you, that man-to-man. -man. Catch a double team there as Frazier goes baseline, gets the call. Good call. First foul of the night, and it goes against Bryant Reeves. 
Cowboys defensively can really make some people take a lot of people out of their offense and make them look out of sync. And Missouri looked that way on this first possession, but they get the call and the ball out of bounds. Cowboys back in zone this time. Missouri comes in averaging nearly 76 points a game to Oklahoma State 77. The Tigers outscoring folks by nearly eight a game. Oklahoma State by plus 10. Heller, baseline pass, out of bounds. They turned it over. Heller did not respond to the pressure very well. Cowboys doubled with Reeves and Burley on the baseline, and Heller gave it up easily. Both these teams play tough, physical, love man-to-man -man defense. Brown to Burley. He walked. So the Cowboys turn over for the first time. Oklahoma State, the top defensive team in the league, only allowing 66 points a game. Missouri at 68 is fourth in the league. The Big Eight, some say a little down this year. Norm Stewart said he thought maybe that, but he said it's just my club. He said the rest of these teams, he said it's the intensity that goes on in this league that makes it different from others. Heller with the tip, and Missouri ties it up two minutes in. And there's one of your second shots we talked about off the top. Missouri will look to go to the offensive glass strong. That time, Heller did it. Reeves. 17.41 to go, first half. Burley with it for the Cowboys. Now at the top, looking for Reeves. Look the way they sag on him. Burley, Reeves with a rebound. And he'll go to the free throw line. Bryant Reeves, leading scorer, leading rebounder, and best field goal shooter in the conference. And leading flat top man in the Big A Conference. There you see Burley described as having no conscience when it comes to shooting the basketball. And that's not necessarily a criticism. You see the rebound, the putback attempt by Reeves. Burley has one of the reasons, Bill, that OSU has come on strong here in the second half of the season. He's really an offensive threat that has developed into a fine defensive player. It just took him a while as one of the transfers into Eddie Sutton's system. Reeves misses the free throw. That's the one number that certainly he'd like to be better. He's shooting just what he did a year ago, 63% from the line. Sophomore from Tiny Gans can't hit this one either. It stays tied at a deuce. Inside pass looking for Heller. Frazier a bit behind him as Heller underneath the hoop. And that's three turnovers for the Tigers here. Three quick ones. We've only played two and a half minutes. Oklahoma State coming off a non-conference win over Louisiana Tech, 80-53. That was an easy one. Missouri, a tough nut against Nebraska as they were beaten 76-75 in Columbia on Sunday. Thompson misses the tray. Reeves gets it back in his face from Crudup. Sets up Rutherford's tray. When you talk about a player playing with lots of confidence, Randy Rutherford is. That was a shot from 21 feet, and you could, you could just feel the confidence from Rutherford. Out of bounds, it'll go to Missouri again. Rutherford, a 43% three-point shooter, best on the team and best in the league. The tandem in the backcourt of Thompson-Rutherford has really become a, not a dominant one, but a very, very good one, as good as any in the league. Crudup, it would have counted in the act of shooting, and Burley will get the foul. Now at the other end a moment ago, we had the block and it ended up setting up a three-point shot. From the inside, the block, Crudup previously gets the block, it comes out front. No, he gets the block here, pardon me. Out of nowhere, Javon, you can hear him hollering from here. Rutherford, though, likes it from 22, nothing but cord. And I mentioned as good as any in the league, and that says a lot because coming into the season, Adonis Jordan and Rex Walters were getting national publicity as being the best backcourt in the, in the country and they really have not played up to their potential and this tandem here has played up to his potential if not beyond. And Thigpen and Baylor's up at Iowa State certainly are worthy of some notice. Crudup misses them both so the big fellas having trouble from the line. Missouri that's no surprise they're the worst shooting team in the league at the free throw line at just 60 percent. Unbelievable and you throw out a couple of their higher shooters we'll get the specifics later but it's incredible how poor they are at the free throw line. Crude up with a jump hook and it's 5-4 he misses two wide open 15 footers where he's got 10 seconds to shoot them and then makes a great shot like that over a seven footer. Crude up a great kid the coaches say he had some early technical problems but he lives and loves to play on the block. Rutherford out front, now to Milt Brown. Thompson looks inside to Reeves. Over Heller and Crudup. <laughs> out of bounds, Cowboys. Those are the 
types of shots that Missouri must convert. I've seen them several games this season, most recently against Oklahoma and Norman, where they had opportunity after opportunity down low, unable to convert, but you've got to stick the four-footer off the glass. It's been part of here come the Tigers again. 15.44 to go in the first half. 7-4 Oklahoma State. Warren dumps low to Heller. Takes it over Reeves. Can't get this one. Rebound comes off to Burley. Strong rebound, Burley. Thompson nearly carried it. Out of bounds. Officials disagree for just a moment there. They get it straight. It'll go back to Oklahoma State. Norm Stewart says somebody kicked that ball. Wait a minute. He thinks that obviously was OSU. We'll take a break. Stay with us on Time Network. I got a booted job. We'll close out our Big 8 men's basketball schedule on Prime. March 3rd, a Wednesday night from Lawrence, Kansas, and Nebraska. And boy, Allen Fieldhouse will be jumping after Nebraska got them up in Lincoln a few weeks ago. Well, we, at one time this season, wouldn't have expected that one maybe to be a toss-up. and. Kansas will still come in the favorite, but who knows? It's been a crazy season. Big 8 tournament, like so many this year, just seem like it's going to be a great first-round day. Oh, yeah. With so much parity in Big 8 basketball. Reeves muscled that one in. Well, that is a strong bucket. Reeves practices a lot with dummies that they sling against his body. That's a payoff there because he got some flesh on the way up. Warren Booker. Atkins for the tray. Atkins, a very streaky shooter. He can fill it up or he can really hurt you some nights. I'm talking about hurting his own club if he doesn't stay under control. Booker. Atkins averages 11 a game as he gets in and got it now, and Reeves backs off on him. Warren. Atkins knew the big fellow was around, steps out and hits the jumper. A score, Atkins loves to pull the trigger. And it's a 9-6 ball game. Cowboys up by a trio with 14-20 remaining first half action here in Stillwater. Thompson, you can see that coming. He was in rhythm. Brooks Thompson averaging nearly 15 a game, but over the last seven, he's bumped it to 18, and they hustle back and get the cheap one as Booker with a layup. Outstanding move by Booker, leaving Rutherford, who's a quality athlete and a fine defender. He left him standing. Yeah, I say cheap one. It was hard-earned, but he made it into an easy play. 13-51 remaining. First half action, 12-8 our score. Missouri, an outstanding club defensively. Inside Reeves. Second straight time that Reeves has to go up and go through some bodies. He's got a half dozen now. 14-8. Crudup. And Javon Crudup cuts it back to three. He's got four, averaging 14.9 a contest. Sort of an unconventional jumper. It, uh, it's like you and I playing Nerf ball. You know, that ball looks so little in his hand. Stroked it down nicely there, though. OSU's hit their last three shots. Brown tries to make it four. Out of bounds it goes. Back to Missouri and subs galore coming in. Jed Frost and Chris Heller in for Missouri. Frost for the first time. And there's Collins and Bennett checking in. Von Bennett, transfer from UTEP, who's had some solid games here for OSU. And also Terry Collins, a sophomore from Joliet, Illinois, in the lineup, averaging two points, one board a game. And an ankle injury against Louisiana Tech in the last out, and apparently is okay, though. Cowboys put a little full court pressure on. Missouri will come down three out, two in. They'll run a lot of motion, and they'll always try to get to in an overload position. Heller and Booker nearly lost communication there. It comes back, and finally a foul call on Oklahoma State. Here in the early going, Tigers have one foul. Oklahoma State with Thompson getting that one, his first, and team foul number three. Cruda. Backing in. Atkins has been hot in the threes lately. Crudup can't get this one. Rutherford there. Here come the Pokes. Yeah. 
You think OSU would like to run maybe a little bit more against Missouri than some other clubs? I think they do want to run so they don't have to come down in this half-court offense. This is what they really don't want to come down and set up against because Missouri is so good defensively in this situation. Missouri holding teams built to 40% from the field. And in fact, nine teams have scored under 60 points. Unbelievable. And OSU, as you look at Norm Stewart, OSU is also in that category. Their opponent's only shooting 40 and a half. Yeah. They're both in the top 13 in the country in field goal defense. Rutherford with the three. Well, no defense for that kind of shooting. He's got eight. The Pope's biggest lead, 17-10. And the other way, Crudup answers to make it a five-point game. Nice job by Heller that time. It draws the double team. Crudup left open for the uncontested jumper. Oklahoma State will give him that most of the time. This time he makes the Cowboys pay. Collins, Thompson. Everything but in, and the rebound comes off to Atkins. He weaves his way up. This is Frost. They shut him down on the baseline. Nice movement by Mizzou. Does it pay off? We'll see. Booker as Rutherford hustled back to cut off the baseline move. Now Booker misses the tray. Heller with the deflection, and again cannot complete it. Cowboys by five with the ball, 11.05 to go, first half. Von Bennett, averaging nine points, five boards a game. Von Bennett from here in Stillwater. Rutherford's tray misses. Atkins across the timeline for Missouri. Back out to Crudup as the trailer. Sets up now to Heller. Crudup with a jump hook. A couple of those for Javon Crudup, and he's now got eight. Crudup gets it down low and knows what to do with it from five feet with the quick hook shot. Thompson out front for the Cowboys. 10-22 remaining inside. Reeves, too much. Atkins doing a good job on the defensive board. And a good job by Heller in guarding Reeves, who, when he falls away left baseline, is out for the rebound. Foul call before the shot in the lane. It'll be against Oklahoma State. There's Norm Stewart. Well, no doubt about his intensity. He's ready for this one. Talks to Melvin Booker. His Tigers down by three with timeout called. 10.09 remaining here on Prime Network. Cowboys by three with 10.09 to go in the first half. Let's look at the big guys. First off, Reeves. Bryant Reeves, a big start. He's three of six from the field and once again goes up very strong as he gets slapped there or Warren gets some ball. And on the other end, Javon Crudup, Bill, off to a fine start. Outsmarts people is how he scores a lot down low. Four of five from the field. Rest of the Tigers just two for nine. Inbounds it comes and Frost had trouble with a handle. He last touched it. Out of bounds to Oklahoma State. Obviously, Jed does not agree, the junior out of Kansas City, and neither does that fellow who owns 608 victories as a college basketball coach. Thompson across the timeline now to Milk Brown. Crude up with a knockaway. You know, Milk Brown's a guy, Dean, that you don't talk a lot about, but he reminds a lot here of Cornell Hatcher, who would fill any role and always gets hands on the ball. He's not necessarily a scorer, but he comes up with it some nights. Good rebounder, good defensive player, unselfish, and a guy that everybody in the ball club looks to. Unbelievable offensive rebound. Rutherford misses the tray and a push underneath. It'll be against, I think, Burley. Yeah, Fred Burley, junior out of Oklahoma City and from Seminole Junior College, who's really found himself become more and more a part of this ball club here in the last 10 ball games. Picks up his second foul. There's never been a doubt about his offensive abilities. He averages nine points a game. Team fouls, five on the Pokes, just one on the Tigers. 17-14 OSU, and not going to steal. This is Rutherford. Burley. No doubt about that offensive effort. 
and the crowd in it here at Gallagher Ive Arena. Atkins, Brown with a carry. Thompson, in and out. Cowboys always do a good job of moving the ball. Seldom do they put up bad shots. Now they didn't have the break, couldn't get the quick one inside, and now they move it around. Von Bennett, and he traveled. Let's go back to the Cowboys steal that set up the slam. Well, just an outstanding give up here by Randy Rutherford, who gets a two-on-one break, and he knows Fred Burley is to his left. Burley knows what to do with it, throws it south hard. Burley, 6'7", 215. Junior College All-American at Seminole here in Oklahoma. Two keys for Missouri off the top were to get the second shots. They've done a decent job of that. Booker and Atkins from the outside, though, Bill, haven't scratched. Frazier with it on the outside. Now Atkins. 19-14 Cowboys on the drive. Won't go. And Brown with a rebound again. Missouri starting to struggle from the floor. And there's 7 of 17 now. Reeves with a fadeaway. Brown on the backboard and a foul on the Tigers. Warren will get the call. Cowboys get exactly what they want here. They, they're patient. They get the bounce pass down low to Reeves right where they want it. Most of the time they will convert there, but when they don't, Big Mill. Sutton calls them a Spartan, and I, I think that's a compliment. Yeah, that's Sutton, too. Scott Sutton, yeah. son of head coach Eddie, junior from Lexington, Kentucky, 6'5", 215, averages a point to rebound a game, nearly tied up out front. Burley got by Warren and then dishes to Brown. Sutton for the deuce. Brown, big time, and what a block by Heller. Oh, mama. Hold on. Two great athletic moves. Hey, looks to be a great call to me. I think the crowd was really wanting to see Milton Brown be paid off for his outstanding effort. He keeps it alive. He dishes for what could have been an assist. I think it's the strong offensive rebound. Heller, lots of leather there, Bill. Good call. Cowboys leading by five. Live college basketball comes your way tomorrow night on Prime Network where UNC Charlotte and Louisville battle for bragging rights to the Metro Conference. Jam session returns tomorrow night at 7 Eastern on most Prime Network affiliates. Right here in Stillwater, a packed house. Bill Land, Dean Blevins with you as Oklahoma State leads Missouri in a Big 8 battle. 19-14. Game has been tied just once at 2. Reeves from Sutton can't get it to go and Warren clears. Good steady player. 9.64 game average for Jeff Warren, a senior from Litchfield, Michigan. Frazier out front. Brown comes out on it. Heller inside over Reeves, got it off quickly. And it comes off to Thompson on the run. Does the basket count? I don't believe so. His second foul. Brooks Thompson wasn't able to finish off the play, but what a stutter step. A great stutter step move right at the beginning of that play. And close call appeared to be a good one, but who knows? Those, are, those guys in the stripe sure deserve their pay. Thompson unhappy because that second foul brings him out. Let's take a look at the stutter step again. This is the guy we talked up the top that has been one of the main reasons Oklahoma State's playing so well. A two guard is making the transition to the point very nicely. There's a good example, although he's guilty of the charge. He sits on the bench. He had a career high 28 in his last outing against Louisiana Tech. He went 11 of 15 from the floor in that one. Give and go and Heller and Warren. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to go. There's a disagreement. They're going to turn it around. I believe it'll come back to Oklahoma State. Rick Wilco underneath signaled ah. Oklahoma State, and then he was overruled by the out official. And it comes back to the Tigers. Hooker, after a little bump and run, Brown slams it to the floor, and Crudup recovers. This 
This is typical Big 8 basketball. Isn't it? What Norm say before the game? Hammer time. Yeah, he said in this league, everybody puts the hammer down. He said, I don't see that in other, other conferences. Heller knocked away, goes back to Missouri. But I think what adds to that, Dean, is this league is drawing so well that when you've got full houses every night, it's easy to get juiced. You bet it is. No question. The thing that slows the crowd down, quiets them down, is when you start making some buckets in Missouri Cole, they missed their last four shots. Crudup has shot the ball well, but otherwise it's been chilly. They shoot 46% for the year. That's sixth in the Big 8 Conference. OSU is second in the league at 52%, fourth in the NCAA charts. And again, a miss. Booker makes it five in a row on the negative side. Burley. Great, great job of boxing out by the Cowboys. That ball had to be a long rebound for Missouri to get it. Rutherford can't hit the tray. On the boards though. Nicely done underneath by Burley. Kicks it back out to Brown. OSU out rebounds its opponents by nine. Best of the league. Third in the nation. Von Bennett on the back of Heller. And Missouriville is going to have to hit the glass. We talked about them getting second shot opportunities on the offensive end. Well, on the defensive end, they cannot allow Oklahoma State to get a couple of looks at it. This time, Bob Bennett throws up the hook, and it doesn't go down, and he comes over the back. A good call against Heller. But Missouri's a big, strong team, and they've got to hit the glass on the road. Why don't we mention rebounds? We'll take a look as Manzer checks in. Brendan, a junior from here in Stillwater. Oklahoma State being out-rebounded by two here, but the offensive glass, for the most part, is going to OSU. Missouri, a good rebounding two team also. Mentioned that the Cowboys out-rebound their opponents by nine. Missouri by five, and that's very good, but it's only third in this league. Cowboys are third nationally in rebound margin, and of course, as you mentioned, Reeves leading the conference. He's grabbing 9.9, .9, almost 10 a game for the seven-footer. Chris Heller, 51% from the free throw line, and can't get this one to fall. Rutherford brings it up, nearly double dribbled. Crudup is saying just that to the official. Manson. How the Cowboys play without Thompson lineup being arrested. Burley misses the tray, and Manzer gets the rebound. Manzer's done a pretty good job for him in spot play. He'll get a few minutes here or there, and he'll be the point guard now. Number 14 with the ball. Rutherford, Brown. Missouri will check in a player at the moment. Bennett got it blocked by Heller, and he gets whistled for the foul. That's the second on the junior from Leewood, Kansas, out of Rockhurst High School on the Missouri side up in Kansas City. Norm Stewart signaling for a walk. This is a great look at it. He has a point there. Cross comes out. Let's take another look at this and see if Norm's call is correct. He's wanting a walk on Von Bennett. Eh, they were baby step. And Bob watches some NBA, so you yeah, know. he wants to be there someday, like every college player. So he figured I got to get ready. <laughs> There's the numbers for Bob Bennett. You ever seen so much walking in that NBA All-Star game? Oh, but isn't it great? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. As long as everybody's playing with the same rules, that's, that's okay. Right. Just so often the regular season, only the All-Stars get to do it. Von Bennett. Takes care of that one, and it's 21-15 as Collins back in for Oklahoma State. Missouri's last field goal came at 10:40, so better than five minutes and 30 seconds between baskets for them. OSU's last one was at 9:31, and this one won't go for the Tigers either as Bennett retrieves. So neither ball club hitting from the floor. Cowboys lead it by a half dozen with 4.59 to go in the half. There have been some ugly halftime scores around the country this year. <laughs> I hope we're not headed for one here. Manzer. He hits the jumper. Manzer had him a 20-footer, and he said, no, I'll creep on in and take it from 15. Nice decision. Cowboys by eight. He came to OSU out of St. Gregory's Junior College, where he averaged 23 points a game. And yeah. he was a shooter. He was too. a scorer there. Heller with it against Reeves. And he gets, you know, I think Heller, 
even though he's not shooting it well, he has to continue to look for the shot and take it to the hole. If they're ever going to get Reeves in foul trouble, he's got to continue to be active. Dave. I agree. That's where you, you gain your confidence, although we need him to call the bank on that. <laughs> he's got five. Von Bennett with a miss. Got his own. And a foul. Who knows better than the guy shooting it if it's going in or not? Von Bennett suspicions that this one isn't going in. Watch him follow the shot here. He knows right where it's coming. Takes advantage of his advantage and gets the bucket and the foul from Kudo. And Reeves with a nice sense of who's open. He's got a good feel for when he is triple Kudo. teamed that he doesn't always just kick it out for the tray. Nice pass with nice hands. Good job by Bennett. And the foul on Warren, his second. Missouri now with 14 fouls. The Cowboys with seven. One and one the rest of the half for Mizzou. Burn with her. Von Bennett gets the three-point play. And he's got five. It's 26-17. Cowboys biggest lead of nine. Important stretch for Missouri. They've got four minutes to close the gap. Heller again. Won't go this time. Brooks Thompson with a carom. 3.50 remaining in the half. I want to remind you, Pat Jones, Oklahoma State football coach, the Big 8 coach of the year. Dean's guest at halftime. Always some interesting comments. Von Bennett down low. Reeves. Nice job of Bennett of getting the ball down low with the bounce pass, the most effective tool many times. Missouri calls the timeout, but once again, great position by Bryant Reeves in getting open to accept that pass. Norm Stewart doesn't want it to get out of hand. It's headed that direction. 3.31 to go in the half. Cowboys by 11. They have their sights set on first place, and it's not a crazy thought anymore as you look at how things sit in the conference standings. Kansas at 8-3 at that lost to Iowa State. They have Kansas here, Dean, to finish up the season. Well, the Cowboys can finish with no worse than a tie without any outside help, but they win their final three. Big if. But they're playing well. They've got Kansas State on Saturday and then Oklahoma Monday before they finish with Kansas. So four games to go counting this one. And this one, of course, a long way from being over. We're not conceding anything here. But Missouri, they need a spurt before the half. 3 to go. They've got to shoot it better. Shooting 35% now. Out of bounds to the Tigers. Brooks Thompson wants to be careful as well because he's playing with two fouls. Milt Brown will come in for Collins. Crudup's last field goal at 10:42. You can't have your big fella struggle like that. Missouri. 2:59 remaining here. Tigers with 14 fouls. Cowboys with seven. Reeves with the rebound. <laughs> 2 37 remaining in the half. 28 17. Oklahoma State up by its biggest margin of 11 and trying to add to it. This is where any Sutton's teams usually excel in not giving up anything on the lead and being patient. With 19 on the shot clock, Brown misses. Foul underneath, and it's against Missouri. Well, the Cowboys, Cowboys. Cowboys have not turned it over as we watch Bryant Reeves working for everything he gets. Watch him very active. And the ball goes up. Perfect fundamentals. Whips around. Great position for the rebound. And as I was about to say, the Cowboys, Bill, are doing exactly as you mentioned. They're going to run some block, and they don't turn it over very often. They've only committed three turnovers here tonight. Heller's third foul, and this one on Missouri. It's on Warren. I don't think this play was in Bryant Reeves' repertoire when he showed up at Stillwater a couple of years ago. Oh, man, what a collision. 285 pounds against two and a quarter. A big country into Jeff Warren. 16 on the Tigers, but now Warren with three. Heller on the bench right now with three. So whereas Reeves fouled out at the game of Columbia that Mizzou won by 16, the tables have been turned here, and he can't hit the free throw. He's 0 of 3. 
28-17 Cowboys. Bryant Reeves, who last year averaged eight points, five boards a game. Had an easy living, though, if you will. When you got Byron Houston, now in the NBA, Corey Williams, now in the NBA, Sean Sutton, the coach's son, setting everybody up, and a guy like Derwin Alexander, you can fit in nicely. This year, the focus has been on him from the get-go, and he has responded. And the defense does there, and the Cowboy fans appreciate it with 2.07 to play. Nice denial for Eddie Sutton's club there by Von Bennett, the defensive deflection. Kruda, Missouri trying to break a four-game losing string and just has not really been in sync all year. Even when they've won, Norm Stewart says, we haven't had that great game. From the corner, it will go for Booker. And a foul on the rebound is... Reeves said sprawling, but sometimes I wonder how a guy Atkins size, although two and a quarter, you'd have thought he was three and a quarter the way Reeves went flying. Let's see if it was all legit. I tell you, solid defense there, though. Bryant Reeves, good position. Atkins, uh, he had not missed many meals now, Bill. <laughs> You're right on that one. And no, we did not weigh him before the ball game. <laughs> there he is. Mark, the junior from Gary, Indiana, out of Kankakee, Illinois Community College. He's a shooter. Reeves gets this one to fall. And correct ourselves, he's got two of five from line. He's in double figures with 10, and nothing new for the big guy that averages almost 19 a game. He's been in double figures all but one game. Think whether Marlo Finner comes in, another transfer from UTEP, sophomore from Chicago. He and Von Bennett, of course, will be familiar with one another, having spent time there together. Finner, a very aggressive player, probably a good move right now to get him in because Missouri can use a little aggressiveness. Well, it was a four-point game, and the Cowboys have gone on a 10-point run to lead it by 14. 139 to go in the half, and Mizzou just ice cold. Missouri having to work for every opportunity it gets. Crudup backs in and gets that one to fall. So that stops that 10-point run. Crudup's in double figures with 10, better than half of their 19. They're down by a dozen now. Thompson to Von Bennett. Oklahoma State playing so much better than they were early in the year, even though they got off to a good start. They start off 8-1, and one, then they lost their home opener in the Big 8 to Kansas State, and Eddie Sutton was a little concerned they followed that with a loss at Iowa State, and then they've gone on a run of eight of their last ten on the plus side, and almost better every night, even when they've lost. Well, Bill, we called that game on Prime, the Kansas State game here in Stillwater. I believe the night the Cowboys had 31 turnovers, and uh, the turnaround has been, as we mentioned earlier, remarkable. And largely due to the guy with the ball right now, Brooks Thompson, because that's where the problem was in ball handling. Foul away from the basketball. We'll see the call here. Take a look underneath. Rutherford right there with the bump on Crudup. His second. Cowboys eighth. They go to the other end for the one-on-one, -on -one and Rutherford comes out for Fred Burley. Both those fellas at Seminole Junior College and both signed originally with Oklahoma State, and when they didn't qualify, went to the junior college scene and re-signed by OSU. At the line is Crudup. Got 10. Javon averaging just under 15. Can't hit the one and one, though. Team shoots 60%. And he's under 50 from the line. And when you're down by 12, you just can't give a team like Oklahoma State any other opportunities. Or I guess maybe I should reverse that. You've got to take advantage of right. every free throw opportunity you get. Reeves to Thompson. 31 seconds. You're looking at the half. Coming to a close. Thompson! Reeves standing, can't get the follow, and Crudup clears. Fans thought he was a little bit too boisterous with that. Missouri would love to get a last-second field goal and go in only nine or ten down, eight or nine down, because it's been a rough half for the Tigers. Booker against inside to Crudup. Frazier, it won't count, did not get it off before the buzzer. 
And the Cowboys have held Missouri to 19 first half points. Norm Stewart, not a happy camper. We'll have a chance to talk about it when we come back and also a visit with Oklahoma State football coach Pat Jones. You're watching Prime Network. Welcome back to Gallagher Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Bill Land and Dean Blevins with you as we're getting ready for the start of the second half. Something, uh, as you look at the dunk meter here for the Cowboy fans, they are into it here at the Big 8 Conference. Something that OSU has certainly to their advantage, even though they've got three guys with two fouls each. If Missouri's going to come back, Warren and Heller figure to be big factors, Dean, and they have to play a little tentative, at least to start with. Probably, and you would think that Oklahoma State would continue to hammer it down low to Bryant Reeves, so Warren and Heller will have to watch out. Crudup not in foul trouble. Chris Heller and Reeves. You think Reeves um, Big 8 Player of the Year? Yep. Hard to argue with it from my standpoint, and that's not to say the others aren't doing well, but he has been so consistent and so good night in and night out. Other teams have had maybe by committee getting it done, but not the one star. If it ended today, that's the case. Of course, it's not over. Just a sophomore. Missouri with a basketball to start the second half. Let's see if the Tigers can get something going offensively here. Frazier to Booker. Atkins gets it back from Heller and can't get it to drop. Reeves and the tie-up and the alternate possession. It'll go to Oklahoma State. Reeves is gaining confidence. He slings that ball around, seeing a little more motion from him as Atkins takes it strong to the hole and follows as well. Well, these two teams showing you how good defensively they are here tonight. And it's no fluke because if you look at the numbers, it goes back a long way. Rutherford with a miss, Brown with a rebound. OSU shot a season low 41% at Missouri this year. Only game they've been outshot. That's a remarkable statistic. Brown with a miss on the deck, and Rutherford back out to Thompson. A tray. Rutherford. Rather, Thompson able to square up. No one in his face. Just like practice. He's got six. The average is 36% from three-point range. Missouri goes for the three, and Booker gets it. So Melvin Booker, who averages 16, gets his fifth point. He was silent in the first half with just two, and Missouri has now hit its first three-point shot. And look at the offensive rebounds for Oklahoma State. Cowboys have a seven-rebound advantage there. Reeves. Crudup. Nice effort to keep it alive, and Booker will bring it up. away by Brown and that's what I mean about how active he can be it'll go back to Missouri Brown one of those players that does things that don't necessarily show up in the box score keep a ball alive great off the offensive glass hustle plays just like that Heller comes out for Mizzou Atkins in the ball game Von Bennett checks in a moment. Crudup, nice pass from Melvin Booker to set him up. Booker, 101 assists coming in here leading this ball club. And it's a 34-24 game. Reeves. Seventeen twenty remaining. Well, they are doubling on Reeves every time he gets the ball, and Burley puts it on the floor, taking advantage of that quick double team. Well, Javon Crudup's got half his team's points, got the nice feed from outside here. Crudup had a big first half, gets the lob down low, and he was 5 of 7 in the first half, and a fast start here in the second. Plays with a lot of emotion. Warren picks up his fourth foul. Norm Stewart realizes he just doesn't have much option here. 
one. This senior's going to have to go. He's smart enough to know to not pick up that fifth. Third year in a row, he's made the all big eight academic team. Burley drops this one through. He's got three. Fred, 70% for the year, but 88% in league play. Now 29 of 33 from the free throw line. Tops in the conference within league games only. You know, we were talking before the game. Eddie Sutton mentioned earlier in the year when we were here that Burley was struggling from the free throw line, shooting around 61% at that time. He said, hey, he's a better free throw shooter than that. Give him the course of the season and you'll see it. And as you mentioned, now leading the Big 8 Conference. Really an offensive player that's developing into an all-round player. He gets a breather. Cowboys up by 12 with 17.05 to go. And a nice floating jumper from Javon Crudup. So the Tigers getting the ball inside, and Crudup's got 14. That's a 10-point game. Missouri has looked better in this first three minutes. They've done more in three minutes than they did the previous 20. Reeves, and there's another area of his improvement. He could no more have stepped out and hit that shot when he arrived here than I could tonight. <laughs> that guy's something else. He's got 13. It's back to a 12-point advantage for the Cowboys. Kruda got it stripped, got it back. Finner will check in in just a moment for the Tigers. Inside out, and Booker... Atkins got a block by Von Bennett. The follow will go, and Big Country Reeves is there to grab it. Eight rebounds for the league's best rebounder. Thompson, it'll count! Now that's about a 20-second sequence that shows what Oklahoma State is all about. Tremendous on the defensive end. Gave nothing away easy. And watch what Brooks Thompson has developed into. The point guard who struggled automatically becomes the point guard who is the favorite to become the newcomer of the year in the Big 8 Conference. And Brooks Thompson, junior from Littleton, Colorado, a transfer from Texas A&M, now has 998 points in his career. He averaged 14 a game as a sophomore at Texas A&M, and then with the coaching change there, Tony Baroni came in, he said, nothing against him, I'm just gonna get a fresh start. And he went off, and OSU's glad they've got him. 999 in his career, nine tonight, Cowboys' biggest lead of 15. Anthony Bean, of course, the other that will get a lot of consideration from Kansas State for that newcomer award. Yeah, that's a hard vote there. Yeah. Both have meant so much to their ball club's somewhat surprising success, at least the level of that success. Von Bennett, a word from Eddie Sutton. After the foul against Von Bennett, his second. Missouri goes to the line, just one of five in the first half. And Marlo Finner, full name Marlo Thomas Finner. Yeah, I like that. That guy. <laughs> He's had the flu and his knee's hurting a little bit. Same thing he had scoped a year ago. Well, Finner, 36% from the line. And he looked like it. Rutherford down to Von Bennett. Crudup got a hand on it. And he stayed with it. Boy, that guy can play. Now. Plays hard, doesn't he? Great presence there. Kept his balance. Held onto the basketball. Booker trying to shake Rutherford. Back out to Frost. Looking to Finner. Atkins and is it a three? There's a foul underneath. The basket does count, but I think it's a deuce. He was on the line. That's what you call the shooter's roll. We'll take a look at it here. Look underneath for the foul. Atkins, meanwhile, gets the roll. Did not uh, see the call. Von Bennett, the foul, number 25. The basket counts. Missouri within 13. Long way to go. Missouri to put it in play. The foul was on Von Bennett. The basket did count for two, and it's 41-28 Missouri basketball. That's just the first foul 
Second foul on the Cowboys here this half. Now Bennett's got them both. Yeah, nice matchup here, Crudup and Reeves. Inside, traveling. Well, boy, Missouri trying to get it inside as they get their seventh turnover because they're one of five and threes. They're only one of seven from the line. And watch the defensive pressure here from Bryant Reeves. He had Crudup out 21 feet from the basket and stayed with him all the way into the paint area. Gets the travel. Yeah, that's pretty chilly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Missouri, 39% overall, 12 of 39 for the floor. Crudup, he has been their scoring story, and he gets the turnover that time. 15 minutes to go. OSU, only one loss here at gallagher Ibe Arena this year, 10 and 1. That came in the conference home opener against Kansas State. They had that one under control and then got shut out on about an 18-0 run by K-State at the end. Cats won it overtime. Reeves in trouble. Flipped it back. A saved a smart, by smart play from Bryant Reeves. He was in a difficult situation. He didn't know where his teammates were, but he knew that if he flipped it over there, the worst thing it would do would be go out of bounds on the side. If he flipped it in the backcourt, Missouri could have scampered to it. Really a smart play. He created a lot of the problem, but and here is the play down low, a play before. Watch it Reeves out. caught underneath, knows he's in the lane too long, gets up in the air like a guard. Well, not really like a, a guard that doesn't jump very high, maybe. <laughs> Inside, whistle foul call. That's another thing, though, that Reeves has worked on with the weights. He has become a better jumper. I guess the weight guy here, when they Eddie walked him in, and one of the assistants walked big country Reeves in here, six feet, 285. They looked at this guy and they said, Uh uh, you want me to work with that? He All said, sudden. He needs a bra. <laughs> that was the quote from the strength coach. And he said, I can laugh about it now because he's made such unbelievable strides. Headed for the NBA ultimately. Cowboys turn it over. Tigers hit the three. Atkins, we mentioned he'd get on a roll. Sometimes a shooter when he's struggling. He got the one to crawl in a minute ago, Dean. Then he drains the stovepiper special there. And it's 41-31. A foul against Missouri. Thompson and Frost got into it. And Frost hey, gets called for the push. This may go both ways because we've seen a lot of talking and pushing going on between Brooks Thompson and Frost. You know, the trash talking in basketball is reaching an all-time high, low, in my opinion. And there's just no reason for a lot of that well, stuff. I tell you what, uh, I think Michael Jordan is one of the greatest things that ever happened for basketball. But when you see him out endorsing in a way through a commercial that, hey, I, I and we talk more trash than anyone and can back it up, I don't know that that sends a great message. I think they've assessed a foul each direction, yeah. being you're right. Rick Wilco, veteran official, been around a long, long time, talking to the coaches about it. And... If we can listen in. Let's take a look at it. Thompson 22 and Frost. Yeah, I don't I didn't see it there. I've seen them push and shove for the last five minutes. If something happened earlier before they entered our frame, maybe, but that looked like a no call either way. But again, we weren't able to see the whole play coming down the floor, but that's when the whistle blew. Anyway, they both get a foul. It really hurts Oklahoma State, though. Frost has been a non-player tonight. Thompson gets his third personal foul, and he is the guy that runs the show for the Cowboys. The zoo gets the basketball. The shot won't go for Booker, and big country clear. I think Reeves got a little bit of that one. Thompson back to Reeves with a jumper. Booker retrieves. Control play. They lead by 10. Missouri playing much better, though, here in the second half. You can tell Norm uh, got a couple of points across at halftime. Crudup and a whistle before the shot. Well, you bet they're going to call things tight here at least in yeah. the next couple of minutes. Reeves does not believe it, but it's on Bryant. Tigers doing a good job, though, of protecting the basketball. This is a hostile environment. Just tremendous pressure defense. The crowd into the ball game. Yet Missouri, down double digits, was able to keep somewhat composed and 
down 10 now, and this game far from over. Reeves gets his second foul. Atkins can't hit this one. Burley tapped it to himself. That's all right. Atkins had that one halfway down, though. That's three buckets in a row that he's either made or almost made. Collins down low to Reeves. Boy, he and Crudup both wanting the basketball. They really want to go at one another here, and Reeves has got 15. In rhythm, four-foot fadeaway, and Crudup unable to alter that shot. And that's top five straight for Missouri. Crudup now against Reeves, and he counters in the swap out. Nice little fadeaway to the left that time from Javon Crudup. 16 for Crudup, a couple above his average. He's been double figures the last six. Watch Reeves work down low. That's a great matchup with Crudup. Rutherford hits the off-balance jumper. He's in double figures now, 45-33. Randy averages 13 a game. Got pulled in the Louisiana Tech game when he got poked in the eye. Had just seven minutes in that ball game. The last outing. Crowd all over Frost. That's the booing you're hearing because of the shoving a while ago with Brooks Thompson. Booker and Melvin Booker. Junior from Moss Point, Mississippi. He's got seven. Booker, Atkins, and certainly Crudup stepping up to the challenge here early in the second. Still Oklahoma State maintaining the 10-point lead. Little push. And Frost gets the call there. Thompson five from his teammate. As Frost picks up the personal foul and will get a visit on the bench very quickly. Manzer will check in for the Cowboys. The timeout is called. We'll take a break. 11.42 remaining. 45-35 Oklahoma State. Someone said what you can do, I can do better. And we'll take a look at the matchup of the big fellas here. And as we're talking about the guys down low, Bryant Reeves has had a big game. But on the other end, so has Javon Crudup. Crudup's numbers are right. He's racking some up. 8 of 10 from the field. This half he has not missed. This time the turnaround jumper from about 10, fading left. He's three for three this half. Crudup's high this year, 25 against Southern Illinois. You see Missouri second half, 60% after 35% in the first half. They trailed at halftime by 12. They're still down by 10. So that's the scary part. If you tell Norm Stewart you're shooting 60%, he says, we've only knocked two off the lead? Yeah. What's it going to take? It doesn't seem like that. They have played uh, better, much better, and shot better. At the line is Rutherford with 10 points tonight. Reeves comes down with a rebound. Jump ball. And it'll go back to OSU. 11.34 remaining, 45-35. The Cowboys jumped out early in this one and had a 10-point run and went up 31-17 with it before a bucket by Missouri brought it to the 12-point halftime margin. It's just been a bit of a tug of war here in the second half. Another foul call, this one against Oklahoma State. It's on Terry Collins, his first foul. Cowboys have got five fouls this half. The Tigers seven. So one and one for OSU the rest of the ball game. And at least one and one, yeah. yeah. That's where they're gonna have trouble catching. You know, slipped and fell in the travel. It's real easy sometimes when you get into a confrontational situation such as Frost and Brooks Thompson to really let your emotions run out of control. You've got to gear it down sometimes, and Frost seems to be a little beyond. Thompson, visiting with Coach Sutton there a moment. We'll get the ball here. Frost has logged some good time, though. He's really contributed for Norm Stewart's club. We talked earlier about the minutes that Booker's been playing. He needs a little help. Frost had a back injury last year that limited him somewhat from developing. Junior out of Kansas City, Park Hill High School. Collins and Atkins going at it there. OSU maintains possession. Leading it by 10, 45-35. Reeves and Crudup with a steal. Good hands from Crudup. Frost for three. 
and he gets it to fall and circle in. And Missouri now within seven. His big first bucket. points of the night and big basket. Big basket. We just mentioned that he's done some good things for Stewart. Always seems reasonable when it's a single digit lead. Inside and a foul called on Cruda. His second. Oklahoma State will sub here in a second. Cowboys will have to work on different types of entry passes. Crudup over the top. He got away with it the time before. This time called for the foul, but sometimes the bounce pass works, sometimes the lob, but Crudup a smart player, cagey guy, and he comes away with a lot of steals because of outsmarting people. We talked about him doing it on the offensive end, Bill. Does it pretty well on the defensive end as well. Reeves, 15 points this evening, but just three of six from the free throw line. The last year he was 63%. He's 63% this year. It's good a feeling though, Dean, that that'll be an area of his game that will improve a bunch in his last two years. I would think. Sure, that goes with confidence, and he gains in confidence, game in, game out. And watch his stroke here. He's got a good-looking stroke for a seven-footer that didn't come in with a ton of headlines. Best sophomore average in OSU history if he maintains it. Byron Houston had the previous best 18 and a half a game. Reeves at 18.9. He's got 16 tonight with a 46-38. But just four of eight for the free throw line. And Frost, Ian Rutherford, head-to-head -head match up there. And now Krupp gives it to Frazier. Frazier, averaging eight points a game, has not been much of an offensive factor tonight. It's shut out. Finner. Shot clock at 17 for Missouri. Well, it's tough defense, belly to belly, but Missouri patient. They get the shot they want. They'll take that any day. Atkins can't hit this three. He was 7 of 16 in threes when he had a career high 34 against Vegas this season. Got a couple here in the second half, but then he's hit this the last two. Thompson miss, Atkins rebound. Here's Frazier. Had them all jumping. Smart play. play there. Smart play by Frazier. Easily could have gone in out of control and either miss the bucket or come down with an offensive foul. He's patient, gets the nice assist, and his club's within six. This is the closest they've been since it was 20 to 15. Back in the middle of the first half, so the Tigers, as you would expect, come fighting back. Reeves. Crudup oh, yeah. with the block. Crudup winning the battle right now, no question about it. I think Reeves a little gas too. Missouri and Many coaches will tell you it's more fun to play offense than defense. They're not that patient this time. They wanted the lob and couldn't get it. Atkins also a little tired, I think. Brown can't finish. Maybe they all need a breather. Frost. Frost might hold this one up. <laughs> it's yeah. one on four. The heck with the rest of you. I'm tired, too. Jeez, this thing's getting a little ugly here. This TV. with their 8.45 to go here. Frazier out front for the Tigers. They could cut it to three if they hit the bomb. Frost, the foul. And Norm Stewart, hopping man. Let's go back a moment ago as Norm about to lose the tie. Scouting report tells Crudup that Reeves likes that turnaround jumper. And he gets a lot of leather and comes away victorious in that matchup. Norm Stewart almost lost a, lost a uh, blood vessel there. Well, I understand his frustration. I'm not necessarily agreeing or taking sides in the call, but nothing's more frustrating when you just turn around with the ball and you're not given any room there. And again, that's a difficult call to make. And it goes against the Tigers in such of what could have been a critical possession. You fight your way back into it. You got a chance to cut it to four, and you don't even get a shot. At. Big night for Crudup, Bill. Watch how active zero is. He's out 25 feet from the basket a minute ago. Rutherford can't hit the three. Crudup there he is. The board and a foul on Burley. Crudup is really the dominant player in this ball game. Talking some trash. Sometimes he tends to get a little emotional, and many times you see a player like that and just think he has a bad attitude. The Missouri staff and even the coaches at Oklahoma State that recruited him said that Crudup is a great kid. Really is hard on himself. Here he has good position, comes down with the board, and a little feisty there. You know, the thing, too, I think is that, again, it's part of this trash talking. It's become part of the game. 
even the good guys, if you will, yeah. get into it. And, well, no and to me, that's where you got to put a stop to it. Well, as soon as they ask my recommendation, I'll pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> well, that may be something to look at me all season and start bringing some technicals a little sooner. Crudup out to Frazier. To the hole. A foul. And the bucket will count, and Missouri is back within four. A deceivingly quick first step there from Frazier. He's 6'4", at least 230 pounds, and he zips by Brown. Nice lefty move, and the foul to the line, chance to bring it to within three. So Frazier coming alive here now, and boy, they need his play. Junior out of Charleston, Missouri. Part of the Big 8 all-bench team a year ago when he averaged nearly six points, three and a half boards a game, has improved those numbers this year to eight and four. He's 68, 67 and change, I beg your pardon, from the line. Doggone graphics, you can't lie. <laughs> but Missouri can't hit from the free throw line again, and they are now one of eight from the line. A foul the other way, though, against Rutherford or Burley. Against uh, Burley. And his old Juco teammate brings him aside and says, I know it was a bad call, but we can't change it either. That's four on Fred Burley, though. 46-42, and Missouri back at the line. Team fouls. You look at Eddie Sutton. His pokes have got eight. Tigers have got nine. And here is Booker with seven points tonight. You see, he is a good free throw shooter. And the lead has been cut to three. They were up 41-26, leading it by 15. The Cowboys have been outscored since that time, 17 to five. We told you we would bring up the free throw shooting later with Booker, and the point is, without Booker's number that Bill just mentioned, Missouri shoots under 55% from the free throw line, but right now it's not a factor as they're within two. We got a ball game, 7.40 to go. Saturday, it's live tennis action from Scottsdale, Arizona. The Purex Tennis Championships feature an all-star draw, including Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, and Mal Washington. The semifinals this weekend, beginning Saturday at 3 Eastern on most prime network affiliates. Gallagher Ivo Arena crowd trying to get the ball club back into it. Welcome, Bill and Dean Blevins with you. If you've been away, OSU's once 15-point lead has been trimmed to a deuce. The Cowboys' last field goal at 12-23. They are approaching five minutes without a basket as Missouri's been on an 11-2 run to get back in this thing, and it hasn't been anything that has been earth-shattering. It's just been steady hard work for Stewart's club. Yeah, it seemed like they played well for the longest time here early in the second half and couldn't dent away at that lead, but they are now, and they force a turnover. Cowboys, 10th turnover, and here's Crudup for the Tigers. They could tie or take the lead with a tray. with a deuce and we start all over advantage Missouri because of the momentum factor nine for Atkins and we'll keep an eye down low there's a beautiful matchup that continues to develop between Crudup and Bryant Reeves Thompson Rutherford Brown had a touch on it Atkins controls here's Booker against Thompson Missouri leads Mama, the Tigers are roaring here in Stillwater. 11 for Booker, and Mizzou amazingly has erased the 15-point deficit and has a two-point lead. 10 straight for the Tigers, and let's see which direction OSU go. Burley, 21 on the shot clock. Back out to Rutherford to reset to Thompson. Crudup all over Reeves, who can't get his hands on it. That's been the key defensively. And they respond with a trade. Just going to say, where's Brooks Thompson been scoring-wise? He hits that one and couldn't have come at a better time. The Pokes regain the lead. He's got a dozen.
A tray the other way, and Atkins with a Whirlpool special, and Mizzou back up by two. Atkins answers. He and Thompson in a duel right now. And two big buckets. We've got one headed to the wire. Each have 12. Missouri by a pair, 51-49. Foul on the drive, it'll be on Atkins with the grab. That'll be 10, go to the line for a couple. Cowboys eight fouls as Eddie Sutton looks on, saying what happened? We were up by 15, looking like we were just gonna dominate this yeah. thing. Tim Jankovic seated to his left. Bill Self, his other assistant there as Milt Brown at the free throw line for the Pokes, 51 percenter. Sure seems like there's been a lot of energy expended for there to be only a total of 100 points. Yeah. Well, for Missouri, they had 19 in the first half. They've already got 30, yeah. or they're 32 here in the second half. And the Cowboys, you see them from the line as Brown pulls them within one. Sutton comes back in the ball game for OSU. Brown gets a breather. How well rested these two teams are down the stretch might be the difference. They have, and how much energy did Missouri expend right. to gain the lead? Atkins. Rebound to Reeves. His 10th rebound. Rutherford. Quick shot, but a good one. Missouri was lost a little defensively and fortunate there that Oklahoma State didn't sting them. That one was in and out. Booker, 4.49 to go here in Stillwater. Oklahoma State down by one. Missouri, a furious comeback. Crudup gets it to roll. Again, the quick hook, real soft off the rim. He gets the roll, and it's a three-point game. Missouri's biggest lead, if you will. 53-50. Not a bad time no. for the biggest lead if you're a Tiger fan. They were tied once at two in the first half, and then OSU slowly pulled away and had the 10-point run, led it by a dozen at the half. Reeves, boy, he has mastered that reverse layup. Great recognition of knowing where he was as Reeves goes under the rim and back up. And that's a big bucket. You missed there. Missouri has the ball, the momentum, and a three-point lead. 18 for Reeves, Cowboys still within one. He and Crudup, what a matchup that has been tonight. Has to be one of the better halves Norm Stewart's club played this year. On the drive, ooh, a tumble, and Booker is hurt. Hip pointer, it looks like, holding the left hip. Melvin Booker took it to the hole. Booker. Looks like he came down on the hip. He's walking it off, and he'll stay in the ball game. Well, he's got to shoot the free throws. I mean, he's an 81 percenter. <laughs> he hit those other two, and you mentioned those figures for the rest of the bunch. So, Booker, two of two tonight with 11 points. 71 straight starts for the Tigers. Number five free thrower in the league with that 81 mark. And the Tigers, as a ball club, just three of ten. And we brag and brag and brag, and he says, hey, guys, do it after I make them, would you? Norm Stewart, Kim Anderson, his assistant, looking on as Frost comes back in. And the fans greet him with a chorus of boos as Frazier takes a seat. Three forty-seven remaining. With the free throw, it's a two-point Missouri lead. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with more here at Oklahoma State. Cowboys train them by two. Gallagher Arena, the site in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Next week, we'll be in Lawrence, March 3rd, for a 7.30 Central time start. Kansas and Nebraska, the Jayhawks stumbled again at Iowa State. And credit Iowa State, they may be as good a home team as there is in the country. And it has opened the door for some other folks to be looking around in the league that most had conceded to the Jayhawks. Second half, Mizzou has been able to hit it. And the other way is 
we come back live, the Cowboys answer with Reeves. One of the signs of a good team to come out of a break and do something that's set up and capitalize. And Oklahoma State does it here as they get it down low to Reeves. Gets great position. That's the best position he's had this half on Crudup. Off the glass and a chance for the three to regain the lead. I think it's a reflection, Dean, of the coaching we've got here tonight. Norm Stewart's team about as miserable as it could be in the first half. They come out in the second half. They chip away. He obviously made some adjustments. And he suddenly gets a timeout here, comes out with the play. And to me, that's a direct sign of coaching when teams come out and execute immediately after the horn. Well, these guys are one over a 1,000 combined. No fluke. Have they seen some ball or what? <laughs> Sutton at 498 victories and Stewart 608 of their careers. And Reeves with a three-point play. Guess what? Lead swings again. Cowboys on top now. Reeves with 21. Crudup. Cross. Fans are all... 20 on the shot clock for Missouri. Cross for three. What a clutch basket. He's hit a couple of them. A 28% three-point shooter. He's got a half dozen and Mizzou on top. No NCAA invitations are locked up. There's a lot at stake here tonight. Missouri 15 and 10 coming in overall. Oklahoma State 16 and 5. Brown nearly lost it. Thompson. He got fouled. It was a three-point attempt. He'll get three free throws. Frost with the foul. Frost mad at himself. He knows that you cannot do that. You want to contest the shot. That's one of the things that Norm Stewart has done well year in and year out. But you cannot afford to give up that foul beyond the three-point stripe, especially to Brooks Thompson. And... He'll go to the line for three, and Thompson, the eighth-best free throw in the league at 77%. Both these teams got to be wondering a little bit here, though. Oklahoma State squandered a big lead against Kansas State. Yes. They had a look on their face a few minutes ago of, it's not happening and again, even though it hasn't been the same type here tonight. And Missouri had Nebraska and had the opportunities to win on Sunday and just couldn't get it done. You wonder about Missouri if they aren't thinking, are we going to come close again? So the mental part big here, I think, Dean, with 2.44 to go. No question about it. And as we mentioned, the NCAA is no lock at this point. Oklahoma State, remember, has an outside shot at the Big 8 championship. They won't if they lose this. Thompson makes it 57-56. Hits the first two. One more coming up for Brooks. Last seven games, he's averaged 18 points, four rebounds, shot 52% from the floor, 42 from three-point range. He has really put this club at another level, giving him a chance to compete for a title. Ties it up here, 57 all, he's got 14. 235 remaining. Glad to have you with us here on Prime Network, another dandy from the Big A. Atkins. Booker got it to go. He nice. gave the fake. A great ball fake that time by Booker. Caught some traffic in the lane. Fakes a bounce pass. And then gets the six-footer to drop. Big bucket, two-point game with two minutes to go. He's got 14 with all but two of those in the second half. We mentioned early that Missouri would have to get some outside shooting. We thought that Atkins, along with Booker, would be the keys. And although Atkins has hit some, he's also had some help from Frost. Booker's heated it up as well, so that's one of the main reasons they've come back here in the second half. Atkins takes the seat. Frazier, the ball game, and the Cowboys go to the line with Von Bennett. OSU down by a pair, 59 to 57. Oklahoma State. Trying to hit the home court win, and Bennett can't hit this one. Oklahoma State goes to Kansas State Saturday at Oklahoma Monday, and then Oral Roberts for a non-conference game, and then finish up with Kansas here at Gallagher Iba. Eddie Sutton is just a, he just love to have a shot for that game to mean a share of the title. They got to take care of business here to start with. It's 59-58 Mizzou. Crudup, great move, but he couldn't oh, complete it. What a move by Crudup to miss the two-footer. 
Mark that one down if Missouri doesn't win. Inside a foul before any of the action. It's against Missouri, and the Big Country Reeves will go to the line. Missouri had a one-point lead with a minute 55 remaining, and they get it down low. Crudup outboxes Bryant Reeves and misses the crip. That would have made it a three-point game. He's played an outstanding game, take nothing away, but that will be one if Missouri does not hang on and win that will give him and the Missouri faithful nightmares. Well, Reeves has had a nightmarish free throw night, even though he's with a double-double again. He's five of nine, but he hits this one. We're tied again now at 59. You're tied at 54, 57, now 59. And Reeves gives the Cowboys the lead again. Atkins comes back in for the three-point work. Cross will check out. The Tigers have rallied with Heller on the bench. He's not done much here, if anything, in the second half. Yeah, and he's a guy who had a big day in the first meeting, 15.16 boards in the Missouri win at Columbia. Missouri's last seven points have all been from the free throw line, a place where they've had trouble earning a living this year. They're down by one. Atkins. Crudup. Atkins for three. Thompson's got it, lost it. What a play by Finner! Frazier's fouled, he scores, and he'll go to the line! Well, they let it go, Dean, and Missouri was ready for it. Watch Finner keep this ball alive, 21. Actually, with the steal from Thompson, and he gets the assist. What a play from Finner and Frazier to finish it. I don't know if you... Do you call a foul in there? That's what Eddie Sutton wanted. He is absolutely ballist, going ballistic on the sideline. Von Bennett got the foul, his fifth, he's gone. So the Cowboys lose Von Bennett. And Eddie Sutton, now realizing that it's his fifth foul, he also has some time to get a player in. Norm Stewart sitting at the other end. Hey, how much time does he have before a T is assessed? <laughs> Guys are always working on the refs. Always putting oh, the thought bet. there at least. Well, you bet. I mean, what a better time to get a call to go your way with a minute to go in a two-point game. Bill Self there to the screen left of Eddie Sutton, a longtime Cowboy assistant, former player here, candidate for the Earl Roberts coaching vacancy that Ken Tricky has resigned. Timeout call. We'll take a break as Coach Sutton visits with Rick Wilco, Missouri by one. Missouri by one. Again, another look at that fray at the Cowboy of the Missouri end. Atkins almost got it to go down. Brooks Thompson gets it. Eddie Sutton wanting the foul there called from Finner. Does not get it. Finner gets the steal, the assist. And Lamont Frazier to the free throw line to try to make this a two-point Missouri lead with 106 remaining in the game. Frazier in the last two minutes of the game over the course of the season, five of six. He can't hit this one, and Reeves gets it down for the Cowboys. So Frazier, a 68 percenter, does not convert, but Missouri has the lead as we go to inside one minute. Shot clock at 34. 20-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Watch Reeves inside. Brown, 21 on the shot clock. Brooks Thompson. Burley, out of bounds. Cowboys. That's a good job. That's a good call, and it's a very good job by Fred Burley as Oklahoma State was unable to get the ball into... Bryant Reeves, tremendous defense played by the Tigers inside. And Brooks Thompson had to step up and take the 21-footer. Burley kept it alive, and Oklahoma State, therefore, is alive. Timeout called as the Cowboys trying to pull one off here at Gallagher Ive Arena. <laughs> Cowboys.
Cowboys break the huddle. Oklahoma State down by one. We'll have the ball. Shot clock turned off as we come down to the final 35 seconds. Phil and Dean Blevins with you here in Stillwater. Oklahoma State would love to get the ball down low to Bryant Reeves, but Missouri has done an outstanding job of keeping him out of it. There you have a look at Brooks Thompson. He might be the guy from the outside. Cowboys would shoot two in any shooting situation. Inbound for OSU. Thompson with it for the Cowboys. Burley looks to Reeves, got it. Got fouled, he'll shoot a pair. 24 seconds to play. We've had seven lead changes and six ties in this game, but the second half's been entirely different from the first half. And this is what we thought Oklahoma State would try to do, and it's just outstanding position by Bryant Reeves because you know if Bill and I can figure it out, and if you can at home, Norm Stewart can darn sure figure it out. Everyone in the building knew it was coming, yet still Oklahoma State was able to get the ball down to Bryant Reeves low, and he'll get a couple. And look at Reeves. <laughs> he looks over at Norm Stewart, starts clapping and smiles and says, Norm, I'm going to make him. You Don't are try to ice me. You aren't going to freeze me. I you are. Hands. It's going to take a long time with that big body. <laughs> Better bring a lot of ice. We were just thinking during the break, these two coaches, you mentioned, got over a 1,000 victories between them. And how many times have they been in these situations? And it's fun to watch the, the checkers and the chess match go back and forth here with each guy trying to get the upper hand. Well, they don't leave it to luck. They know the, the levers to pull, the buttons to push. That guy has won so many games by outsmarting his opponents. And, of course, he'll admit it. He has, he's had great players throughout the years. But he will beat. You give him equal talent, he'll beat the other coach most of the time. Eddie Sutton, of course, was at Kentucky late out a year before coming to OSU, now in his third year. Also had been at Arkansas and at Creighton prior to that. Well, that's why at the beginning of the season when I saw that Oklahoma State had been picked number six in the Big 8 Conference, I said, no way. I mean, that is not going to happen. Likewise, this guy has done a fabulous job at Missouri. 26 years, they've been in the top division of the Big 8, eight straight years, 16 out of 18, Bill, and it's a tough conference. He's won seven conference titles while at Missouri and it sets it up now here for the final 24 seconds with Reeves going to the free throw line following the timeout. 7 of 11 from the line for Reeves. The Cowboys are 17 of 25 as a ball club tonight, 68%. For the year, they're 64%. Reeves. <laughs> he goes back and looks at Brooks Thompson says, told you, partner. You little guys aren't the only ones that can shoot. Tied at 61. That was the critical one. You had to get it to the tie. Critical for the rebound. Missouri advantage. I say they go for one shot, and Booker's the man that will activate the play. Booker against Rutherford. Tied at 61. Booker. Hold on, Javon Crudup for the three-pointer. Incredible. That makes him 10 of 13 for the game. To make a six-foot shot or a 12-foot shot is one thing. They're just They're giving whether the it's two. a three or a two. Just a two. All right, it's going to be a two, and I thought he was on the line when he shot it, Dean. Well, you were right because the official, whoa, whoa. he's not on the line. It's a three, and <laughs> I don't know if we had anything to do with that, but a coach from Missouri, Kim Anderson, and an official were standing by when we both went, whoa, together, and they looked over, and well, they signaled three. That shot is clearly beyond the three-point line, and what a shot, and what a time to gun the three-pointer for Javon Rudolph Rudolph. is three of three this year, three-point range, but of all ways for this one to come out, the guy who's just been battling inside the paint all night, 6'9", 230, and shoots it like he's been doing it all night. All right, it's not over. Two seconds remaining. Oklahoma State will have it. You've got to believe Norm Stewart will look to only guard the three, give up everything else. Oklahoma State will have its three-point guns in there. Of course, Brooks Thompson, Randy Rutherford. We've seen, Dean, a couple of plays. Well, everyone remembers last year, Kentucky, I believe it was, uh, or or Leitner, um, 
trying to remember the NCAA Duke, regional, the long play, pass play right, right. for the jumper. That was a two. And then the other night there was a game, I believe it was Villanova and Syracuse, similar pass type play. OSU tries to do that here tonight where they make sure the receiver is outside the three-point line? I would think so. Yeah, you want to get off the uncontested three, which is, becomes very difficult because that's all Missouri will guard against. If that's the case, you almost have to target it to Reeves, though, who's certainly not a three-point shooter, if you're going to get it to someone tall enough who can make that kind of catch. I think you look to Rutherford or Thompson, though. All right, They've, let's see how they set up. Reeves is back underneath the basket. There's Bryant. 64-61 Missouri, two seconds to go. Cowboys with a basketball. Reeves. Oh! He made it! Oh! He are going to overtime! Oh, my goodness! Can you believe it? No! and I thought I'd seen it all in my 608 college victories. Well, he'll have to go five more minutes to get this one. I think what Stewart is saying, there was a slow trigger on that clock operator, and we're in Stillwater. How well, about Let's take it? a look at it. The clock does not begin until right now. 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 Reeves got a huge, huge break, and the Cowboys go to overtime. His first three-pointer of the season. And we'll take a look at it again as the clock starts when Reeves first touches it. And what do we have? The two big men with three-pointers. Javon Crudup from 20 feet. And big country Reeves from 35 feet. Indeed, this play celebrated as if the it's game amazing. was over, and everyone on the sideline called me and said, okay, can you get on the floor? We got five more minutes to go now. But was there any question that the clock was slowing down? I don't around? know. I think we'll take one Let's more look, look at again. it, guys. Because you have fractions now, although... Okay, now the clock starts. It's so hard to see here in slow motion. I think he still gets the shot off, although it appeared to be a little bit slow. You make the call. All that matters is it counted, though. And we go to overtime. Here, let's see it at regular speed here, and that'll give you a better right. idea in real time. 1,001, 1,002, it's close. The clock was definitely late, but I believe he probably would have gotten the shot off anyway. All right, Missouri with a basketball to start the extra session. What an effort by the Tigers to erase a 15-point deficit in a B in just this position, but certainly a bit, a big downer that you have a three-pointer on that jumper by Reeves. Atkins with a miss and a foul underneath. And Dean, if you're Missouri now, your concern is you get down four or five here early, and this thing could really just fall apart on you because the momentum is all Cowboys. Yeah, and Missouri had it going so much its way. But they have fought so hard and come back that I don't think they're going to roll over here early. Burley at the free throw line for the Cowboys. He's two of two to uh, straighten up because I know if uh, they don't have the fractions here right. on the clock like you do in so many arenas anymore, which obviously you didn't know, is it 2.9 seconds right. or 2.1? But it's 2 point something. Yeah, and Ken Miller, our producer, with a stopwatch, timed it at 1.7 on that three-pointer. So if that is the case, it should have got it. It did, and again, that's all that really matters here is we're in overtime with it 65-64, Oklahoma State. Prudup to Frazier. Out of bounds, it'll go back to Mizzou. Oh, How about the Crudup bucket, though? I mean, yeah. let's not forget that in all of this. Crudup steps up from 20 feet, gives his team a three-point lead, and 
Big Country tops that. The two are combined four or four threes this year. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Missouri now, down by one with the basketball. 11 on the shot clock. Booker to Crudup. Better get one off. Frazier with four on the shot clock. A foul, and he'll go to the line as Milt Brown gets called for. Missouri fortunate there. Actually a good play offensively. That's what you hope for. Norm Stewart looks up, sees that shot clock coming down. Frazier's got to take it one-on-one. -on -one. Not the high percentage shot you want. He has no choice. And Milt Brown, in good position, comes away with the foul. Frazier, 0 of 2 tonight. And this is where your free throws become absolutely critical. Tigers shooting 70% in the last two minutes of ball games, but they're 4 of 14 from the line tonight. Four and look of what 14. he's got to face. There's a little bit of pressure there and a little bit of a distraction. And Frazier, guess what? Ties it up. 65. 65. 350 remaining. Eight pie in the ball game. Burley. And now Thompson for two. Thompson with a deuce. 67-65. He's got 16, a couple above his average. That was close to being a three. Crudup. And Frazier outside now. 3.18 to play. 25 on the shot clock for Mizzou. They're down by two. Sixteen on the shot clock. A travel on Javon Crudup. Well, Dean, this arena's rocked many, many times over the years. I never heard it much louder than it's been ever since the three-pointer by Reeves. That was wild. You can Ooh. hear a pin drop when Crudup knocks down the 20-footer to take a three-point lead with two seconds to go, and then absolutely bedlam after the heroics from Reeves. And we're told in the truck, the Oklahoma staff thought that, Eddie Sutton here, thought that the bucket by Thompson was a three. He was credited with a two, and we're told that it was a three. Look at his feet outside the line. Brooks Thompson. That certainly appears yep. to be clearly a three. Man. Has this been a fun night for the officials? Ooh. No, thank you. Instant Rutherford. replay, huh? Instant replay. Oh, we don't need that, though. <laughs> Brown steps in. Burley and the southpaw dreams it. Burley's been fairly quiet offensively, but he's a machine. Not necessarily a pure shooter, but certainly a scorer. He's got seven and timeout in Missouri. He's still got a long way to go. 235 remaining in overtime. Poached by four. Welcome back to a rock and roll in Gallagher Iowa Arena because their good guys are up by four. Missouri erased a 15-point deficit in the second half, had a three-point lead with two seconds to go. Bryant Reeves cranked a three-pointer from near the center circle. It banked in, and in the overtime, the Pokes are up by four, and Missouri with the basketball team, they're going to have to calm down. Realize yeah, they, you still got a long way to go. and They are, and the man to do it, Bill's number 15. Booker has been the mainstay for the Tigers for a long time. Crudup has had a good night, but Booker's got to lead him. Nice pass, and Bitter got a block by Reed. Oh, mama, hold on. Here's Burley. He scores. Nine and, for Burley. And a, a great decision to go ahead and go in transition for the basket rather than be tentative and hold it up. Crudup. And a foul. It's on Mizzou on the back for the rebound. Can, I believe you, Pinner. can you imagine what the Missouri fans and the players and the staff is thinking now? They have the lead with two seconds to go, and it looks like it's over. Norm Stewart, very upset. 
and I think what he's upset with was a non-call. I think he thought there was a foul on the previous play, not necessarily that call. I thought I, I, I thought he was thinking there was a charge mm -hmm. on the, uh, Let's the see. previous play. Okay. Great Here's block, block here. I believe that is a good no call. Brooks Thompson elects to take it on the break, the lob, but I believe Norm was thinking a charge was in order. I think you're right. Whatever. That foul on Finner was his fifth, so he is now gone, and Burley will go to the line. Von Bennett fouled out earlier for OSU, and at the line is Burley. Free throw shooting tonight. You see the Cowboys at 66%, and Missouri can shoulda, coulda, woulda, but when they see that free throw percentage in the paper, oh. Tiger fans are go five of 15. Again, yeah. Oh. 60% for the year, eighth in the league, and it's still just the big eight. Burley. And the Cowboys have taken control now. 72-65. They've hit the last seven here. Just one point for Missouri in the extra session. Crudup. And look at the defense. Atkins and a foul. He'll get three free throws. Boy, if that one falls, all of a sudden it doesn't seem so gloomy exactly. for the Tigers. Well, I was thinking that it, it's about the time of game for Missouri to get a call. Not to say yeah. that there's any of that that goes on, but you know what I'm saying. In the yeah, flow of the Stewart game. Yeah, comes 14 feet onto the floor <laughs> to talk about the last call. I would suggest that he might have planted something in his yeah. seed in the official's mind. Well, therefore, I thought Missouri might take it to the hole and get a a couple of free throws, but they end up after a good defensive stand by Oklahoma State taking the three. Pays off to almost a four-point play. Atkins a 68% free throw shooter. He's had 10 points in the second half. And a dozen for the game with its 72-65. He obviously needs to get them all here for the Tigers. There's one. Atkins. 13 did, points. Did Bryant Reeves really make that bank shot? <laughs> My goodness. You still trying to figure that part out. That's amazing. <laughs> I know. That'll uh, make some highlight reels around the country for a long time. Well, Atkins doing his part. And no. Can't get this one. Two or three. 72-67 now as Thompson across the timeline for the Cowboys. What improvement he has made. He's a smooth, confident operator, whereas early in the year he was herky-jerky. I wish I was at the two spot. Well, he's never played it. You know, he's just not comfortable with that basketball in his hands, or was not. He certainly is now. He's an all-around player. Rutherford. That is a two. No? Three. One official signal, two. The other said three. So the Cowboys, if they didn't get the other one, they got this one. Boy, there's been confusion on the officials end. 75-67. The banker, a most difficult shot for Lamont Frazier. 75-69 and a foul called at the 56-second mark. Tigers realizing they can't play swap out anymore. Nice bucket there from Lamont Frazier. This guy could fill it up in high school. He was a 75% field goal shooter his senior year in high school. Beautiful bank shot there from in, in low. and. Brian Reeves was in the vicinity and you were thinking block, but big bucket for Norm Stewart. Draws his crew to back within six. Well, and Frazier had missed nine of Missouri's, five of Missouri's last nine games due to an ankle he sprained against Oklahoma State a month ago, and his shooting had really slumped. Frazier backs in, has Burley on him, has Reeves on him, and the quick release off the glass. He'd shot 67% from the floor before the injury and only 44% since. Brown, just one point tonight. He does have nine rebounds. He's one of three from the line. And the Cowboys leading by six. And this certainly important here because right now it's a two possession game for Missouri to tie if they could get two threes. Nope. We need a little more tension here. Booker will bring it up for the Tigers. Cowboys. 
The tray won't go. Reed bats it to himself. The three really has to come in rhythm. It's so hard when you have to have the three. Missouri with a steal. Booker and Thompson comes down with it now, and Booker fouls it. But Missouri knows they've got to dig and get whatever they can, and if they don't get the steal, they've got a foul. Do I look at Reeves on that rebound? The confidence that he plays with Dean and the intensity is a whole different level from a year ago, too. No question, and he plays smart after he picks up three or four fouls, which he seemingly does game in, game out. Booker receives foul number two. And at the line will be Brooks Thompson, 77 percenter, 16 points tonight. And the junior from Littleton, Colorado, makes it 76-69. The Cowboys, if they can hang on, will go 7-4 and four in the league, a game behind Kansas. I hope all eight Big 8 teams make it to the NCAA tournament. That won't happen. But if Missouri doesn't make it to the NCAA tournament, you think they'll look back at a, game, a shot Ooh. like Bryant Reeves' bucket that could have kept them out? 77-69. The tray won't go for Booker. Frost retrieves to Crudup. He'll take the deuce. Can't get it. Reeves is there. Lost it. Booker with a follow. 15 seconds to go. Timeout. Yeah, they cost them a couple precious seconds there and waiting to call the timeout, particularly when there's only 14 ticks left. We'll take a break. We'll regroup here. We'll be back with more in overtime. 77-71 OSU. Let's go back to the end of regulation. Tied at 61. Cruda. 20-footer, 3-for-3 three three in his career for the threes. Reeves was the man that called timeout. Exactly. The Zeus says two seconds to go. We just don't give up a three. We win. Good hands from Crudup to keep that one alive. And bank shot. Well, Reeves, he had the sight angle and said, bank, bank. I'm calling bank. And then OSU wrote that momentum here into overtime. Reeves gets fouled as we come back to the live action. Hey, that's a big, strong play by Bryant Reeves. They go to the big guy, the biggest target out there, and he holds on to it in a strong fashion, and he didn't want to give it up. He'll go to the line. Reeves with 27 tonight, and for Bryant Reeves, his career high, 29 in the season opener this year against Midwestern. He had 28 against Iowa State, 26 against Kansas. The big fella, the best thing is he shows every night. Ten seconds to go, and Reeves will get one more. And again, one here just about lo certainly locks it up. You'd think it'd be hard to mess up a six-point lead in ten seconds, but I won't say that tonight. Well, he can't hit either one. Better hustle. Booker. He cranks the tray. Nope. Crudo. And it goes in, and that's it. Oklahoma State wins it in overtime, 77-73. The Cowboys have won four in a row. They're seven and four in the lead, 17 and five. As Eddie Sutton walks off, Norm Stewart's club falls to four and seven in the league, 15-11 for the year. They've lost five straight, and nobody happier than Big Country Bryant Reed. We'll be back in a moment to recap. Cowboys 77, Tigers 73. You watch your Big 8 basketball on Prime Now. College basketball 93 on Prime Network has been brought to you by Gatorade. It's all you're thirsting for. And by Phillips 66 Crop Arctic Motor Oil in the new black bottle. Seventy-seven, seventy-three. the final. You saw again the shot at the end of regulation. The incredible shot by Bryant Reeves to send it into overtime. Welcome back, everyone. Bill Land and Dean Blevins to wrap it up with you. And we could go on for hours about this one, but uh, 
I never expected to come over here tonight and see two centers go at it, hitting three-pointers to finish in overtime, leave alone a guy hit one from almost half court. Well, you know, you credit Brian Reeves with the incredible shot. Well, maybe Crudup's wasn't incredible, but it was certainly one that he isn't going to take game in, game out. He spots up and hits a 20-foot jumper, a three-point bucket to give Missouri the three-point lead. And what a comeback it was for the Tigers in the second half. They showed remarkable composure and the willingness to stay in their battle when it didn't look like they could do that at all. And then Reeves comes up with a big bucket, and I think that was the turning point. Missouri seemed to say, yeah, you got it. That's and, it. And again, they were down 15 at one point. Mill Brown with the pass. I mean, Reeves can't get the right. bucket if he doesn't right. get the ball, and he threw it where only Bryant Reeves could get the ball. Bryant Reeves has outstanding hands. He showed you an example of it there and uh, the ability to call the big bank shop when needed. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. We got a little excited. Some fun here tonight. 77-73, the final score, Oklahoma State over Missouri. For Dean Blevins, this is Bill Land saying so long from Stillwater. Hope you enjoyed Big 8 basketball tonight here on Prime Network.